backstage at UFC 210. I'm joined by Patrick Cote. And Patrick, this is bittersweet. Obviously, you came out to fight, and then you surprised us all by placing your gloves in the center of the octagon. How long had you known that this would be your last fight? Uh, since uh, maybe a couple of months, you know, more since like my little daughter was born. You know, that's a lot of things changed. Uh, not in the training, you know, I came here well prepared. I wanted to win, but that was a decision. Win or lose, I will be my, my last fight. Even if I just sign a new fight, a contract, a four fight deal, maybe Sean Shelby not going to be happy, but it is what it is. I have to think about myself. I have to think about my health and I'm going to take care of my family now. Will it be challenging for you? You work on the, the French language broadcast. Is it going to be difficult to watch these fights and know that you're no longer getting back in the octagon? Maybe at the beginning, but I, you know, this is, you know, I thought about this decision for a long time and I'm at peace with that. I'm at peace with that, that decision. Uh, I, you know, I, I don't take this, this decision by emotion because of the loss. You know, I knew it before that win or lose, that will be my last fight. So I'm okay with that. Well, you've been fighting since UFC 50 when you faced Tito Ortiz. Yeah. Was that sort of where your life changed? Is that the biggest moment in your UFC career? Or do you feel like there's something else that stands out? I don't know can do, what can be bigger than fighting in the UFC main event on your first fight in the UFC <laughs> against a, a guy who were on my screensaver at that time. You know, that's kind of crazy. And that's that's true. That's a true story. So yeah, for sure that was. Uh, but you know what? That was a port an opportunity that I took. You know, I don't think uh, I don't believe in chance in life. It's they they offer me that fight and I took that opportunity and that's why I'm here today. That's why I have to live the life I, I have today because I took it and I was. Uh, had the balls to take this opportunity. Yeah, <laughs> you took the opportunities, but us fans were the one who benefited. We got to see you compete all of those times in the Octagon. Patrick, it's always been a pleasure to watch you perform, you. but an even bigger pleasure to work with you. You've always been a professional and a gentleman. Thank you for everything. We look forward to seeing you on that broadcast team. Thank you very much.